because we might have the new benchmark for an affordable workhorse microphone in the OC16. Hello everyone, David here, Mixbus TV. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm back here at Atlantic Studio West and we are gonna try something really cool I think you're gonna like. Austrian Audio OC16. This is the budget microphone in the OC line and you know how much I love the OC A18 is arguably one of my favorite microphones, the mic I use for Bella. Then there's the OC18, which is the single capsule. And then now we have the OC16 with the same CKRC capsule found in the OC18, but with an affordable price because this mics comes at $399. Large diaphragm condenser, fixed cardioid pattern. This mic is supposed to give you exactly what you hear in the room pristine, natural, neutral. Let's see what's inside the box. When you buy the OC16, it comes into this portable case here and we can open it. And we have, of course, the mic itself, which comes in this really cool matte black finish. And the microphone is very, very simple. We only have a high pass filter here with two positions, 40 and 160. We said the same CKRC capsule, which we can see right here. 2020 the bandwidth and 148 decibel of SPL. So this mic can definitely take abuse. Also included in the carry case, we have the shock mount here and a clip. Today we are gonna try it. We're gonna record male vocals, female vocals, rap and acoustic guitar. So without further ado, let's see how it sounds. The signal path for testing the mic is gonna be the 73 MPL preamp into the Focusrite Red 16 and nothing else in the path. That's gonna be our boot. Let's get going. All right, we start with Michael. You guys saw him before in our video and thank you for being here today. Of course. And here's gonna play guitar. We're gonna do finger picking, we're gonna do strumming and you're gonna sing something for us. We start with strumming, right? Yes. So we placed the OC 16 right there uh, near the hole and without further ado let's see how it sounds Alright, awesome. We are gonna do finger picking now and let's go. All right, we're doing female vocals right now with, of course, Bella. Are you ready? Hi, yes. All right, let's go. I've been told, I've been told to get you off my mind. But I hope I never lose the bruises that you left behind. Oh, my Lord, oh, my Lord, I need you by my side. There must be something in the water 
Cause every day it's getting colder And if only I could hold you You'll keep my head from going under It's easy to say, but it's never the same I guess I kinda like the way you numbed all the pain Now the day bleeds into nightfall And you're not here to get me through it all Let my guard down, then you pull the rug I was getting kinda used to being someone you love so, before you go, was there something I could have said to make your heart beat better? If only I'd have known you were the storm to weather. So, before you go, was there something I could have said to make it all stop hurting? Kills me how your mind can make you feel so worthless. So, before you go, I may cry ruining my makeup. Wash away all the things you've taken And I don't care if I don't look pretty Big girls cry when their hearts are breaking Big girls cry when their hearts are breaking Crack the sky as we fall Rain the sirens, make the call my name out loud Kneeling as you bow, shout the war cry as you say Whatever comes, what may I allow myself to fall The writing's on the wall Man, I had to hit some lows, but now I'm up again Never going back, right from here to riches, never end Man, I had to hit some lows, but now I'm up again. Never going back. Right from here to riches, never end. Well, we just finished all the recordings with the Austrian Audio OC16. And right off the bat, because we are going to my studio right now to analyze and listen to the files, I am beyond impressed. Let's go to my studio and listen to the files together. All right, back at my studio, we've seen and heard the first raw takes. And actually, uh, we did another couple of songs with Bella because while Austrian Audio spoiled me, so to speak, with high quality, top tier products throughout their entire line, this microphone at less than $400 kind of blew my mind. So I really wanted to be in my environment with my monitoring system before doing the commentary on these files because we might have the new benchmark for an affordable workhorse microphone in the OC16. And I'm gonna explain you why. Let's start taking a listen to the files. So before you go was there something I could have said to make your heart beat better? If only I'd have known you were the storm to weather. So, before you go, was there something I could have said to make it all stop hurting? Kills me how your mind can make you feel so worthless. So, before you go. Dang. <laughs> so uh, two things. First of all, you see there is no plugins whatsoever. There was no compression or EQ in the signal path. Microphone straight into the preamp, straight into Pro Tools. Uh, there's no tuning. These are all actually first takes. So one take, top to bottom. With that out of the way, you hear and see this particular performance. I picked this particular performance because she goes from a pretty low range to a high range. She's also pretty dynamic here. And one thing that I always take into consideration when I pick a microphone, when I decide if I like a microphone or not, 
is how he reacts in one take to different ranges and different signal levels. Granted that we have compressors, granted that we have other things that can help a microphone, I wanna hear and I wanna test the microphone raw. And you hear the obvious, this microphone is balanced. It's extremely natural. It's beyond faithful to the source. And I'll talk a little more about this. There's no problems with S's or harsh consonant, right? These are all things that we all hear. I don't have to tell you. It's right here in front of our eyes and ears. But what I want you to pay attention is the tonal balance, this natural and extremely balanced picture of the various ranges, it doesn't change, it stays the same. This makes me feel like this is a mic I can throw in front of everything, knowing exactly what I'm getting back. Well, let's listen to other files. I may cry ruin in my makeup Wash away all the things you've taken and I don't care if I don't look pretty Big girls cry when their hearts are breaking Big girls cry when their hearts are breaking I don't think I have to sell you <laughs> I don't think I have to sell you this microphone It's crazy uh, again, so open and clear, that mid-range. The top end is just perfect. And I wanna say something, I know I'm gonna do the test in one second. This mic can take top end boost like nobody else. And when she goes down in the bottom range, there's no trace of woofiness or mud which Bella has a very wide range. She can go really low for a girl. And when she does that and she's close to the mic, these recordings weren't so close, but usually when she soft sings, the low end gets really boomy sometimes. And I have to correct it, not a problem, but still not having the problem, it's much better. Let's get to this other one. I've been told, I've been told to get you off my mind. But I hope I never lose the bruises that you left behind. Oh my lord, oh my lord, I need you by my side. There must be something in the water. Cause every day it's getting colder. And if only I could hold you. You keep my head from going under. The articulation is something that I would expect from a microphone that costs three times this price. And it, it is what I get with the OCA18. I wasn't expecting to get it from this one. And you hear it when she goes full power, and this is not even her full power, this is like 60%. She outputs a lot of volume and you hear how clear it is. And we had a colored preamp. That means the signal coming out from the microphone is so pristine. There must be something in the water Cause every day it's getting colder But you hear how the tonal balance doesn't change from the super loud, powerful part from the lower one? That means that when you go and compress this thing, and I'm just gonna try it really quick right now, having a sound so free of distortion, especially in the loudest part, especially on a female vocal, it means it takes compression and it takes processing extremely well. There must be something in the water Cause every day it's getting colder Again, without compression. There must be something in the water Cause every day it's getting colder There must be something in the water Cause every day it's getting colder So easy to manage. Let's go to another one. This one too, extremely dynamic. One of the most dynamic performances of today. It's easy to say but it's never the same I guess I kinda like the way you numbed all the pain Now the day bleeds into nightfall And you're not here to get me through it all Let my guard down, then you pull the rug I was getting kinda used to being someone you loved 
I mean, you hear beside compression here, dynamic control, this recording is pretty much ready. This part, the beginning here. It's easy to say, but it's never the same. I can tell you eight mics out of 10 will be too boomy and too woofy in this part. And you will have to have a different EQ from the rest of the track. Let's do our test. I'm gonna throw a little bit of compression here and I'm gonna do my top boost and see how it takes it. I guess I kind of like the way you numbed all the pain Now the day bleeds into nightfall And you're not here to get me through it all Let my guard down, then you pull the rug I was getting kind of used to being someone you love <laughs> I, I, I guess point proven, even if I'm boosting a pretty ridiculous amount of the top uh, of the air band here. S is not a problem. Let's listen to the acoustic guitar now. Okay, so you need to know something about this specific recording of this guitar. I purposely moved the mic very close to the hole to test because I couldn't get the mic to sound boomy. I wanted to see how much low end I could actually grab from this acoustic guitar without it being boomy and it, it wasn't, it never got boomy. During the first test, it was much more open just if I moved it a little bit more towards the fret or the 12th fret. So actually, if I wanted to give you the best position, I would have kept the recordings that we did with the 12th fret, but I purposely used this one almost to show you like, dude, even if you place the mic in the kind of wrong spot or not the ideal spot, it's still balanced. Once again, I'm just gonna throw a top boost here just to show you guys how good it takes top and boost. And again, beside this little couple of dB top and mids here, I'm 1.5 here and 1 dB here, top and mid boost. This is 100% raw recording, finger picking. I did a quick EQ here, just containing the low notes here because the mic again was really close. He was playing really low notes on finger picking. But again, this is just a two easy moves on an EQ and you have a pretty dang perfect performance. This mic is really proving to be one of the best workhorse microphone out there. Rock vocal. Crack the sky as we fall. Rain the sirens, make the coma name out. Loud, kneeling as you bowed, shout the war cry as you say, Whatever comes, what may I allow myself to fall? The writing's on the wall. Once again, rock vocals, completely different range, completely different styles from Bella's, and yet you hear again this extremely balanced and neutral tone but at the same time is pretty flattering. In this case, it feels like it has some sort of natural compression to it. It's very contained, even though you can see the performance is dynamic. And yet we don't perceive it as dynamic as Vela. So 
the delivery of the mid-range is really impressive on this mic. Last one, we got mic wrap. Man, I had to hit some lows, but now I'm up again. Never going back, right from here to riches, never end. Man, I had to hit some lows, but now I'm up again. Never going back, right from here to riches, never end. It grabs the low end extremely well. He was close to the mic. How many times you have problems with, again, too much boominess on the low end, and we didn't have any filter on. This was like with no high pass filters. And maybe the proximity also gives you problem with the S's. When with this one, I can again throw a simple top boost here. Man, I had to hit some lows, but now I'm up again. Never going back, right from here to riches, never end. Man, I had to hit some lows, but now I'm up again, never. And it takes EQ extremely well. And when I'm using plugins. So I think the final verdict for the OC16 by Austrian Audio, for me, is a big thumb up. This mic is below $400. It has the same capsule of the bigger brother OC18, which is half of the OCA18, which again, it's one of my favorite microphones. The capsules are hand-built and tested before leaving the factory in Vienna. So this is not outsourced, okay? All their microphones, we are talking about boutique manufacturing and quality at a commercial shell price, which is crazy. Um, I think this is it for the video. The link to the Austrian Audio OC A18 is gonna be in the info box down below. Let me know you guys what you think in the comments down below. And of course, if you really wanna learn how to mix and master professionally, either click the join button and become a Mixbus TV member, access all the courses, or now you can buy all the courses individually at this email. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe. See you next time. Hands on my neck, hands get my throat, throat Lift me up, up, man, take control, ho Heart is so gone, my tight, don't you know